In this lesson, we are going to set up a Node.js backend using Express. Recall that Express is something that is built on top of Node.js to make it easier for us to build web applications. In other words, Express is a Node.js framework. It is beginner friendly and easy to work with. Since Express is based on Node.js, it therefore means that we need Node.js to build Express application. If you have not set up your Node.js environment, just visit Node.js.org and follow the guidelines to install Node.js. When you install Node.js, it's also going to install something called NPM, which you are going to make use of. After you've installed Node.js and along with it NPM, you can verify the installation by going to the terminal or command line. So why I'm going to run node-v that will show me the version of Node.js that is installed. For npm, I can do something similar, npm-v, and this will tell me the version of npm. With Node.js and npm installed, let's go ahead and initialize the project. For that, open the terminal in the folder where you want the code base to live. For example, I have this Express.js folder. Over here, I'm going to run a command to initialize the project using npm. So I'm going to say npm init and I'll pass an option dash y. This is going to initialize what is called package.json with default options. I'll click and that is going to create a file package.json, this the file name with these items. Let's open the folder and see what is inside package.json. I'm going to expand this and zoom in a little. The package.json file has a bunch of information, but we don't really need to understand everything going on here, right? At least for this stage. The name is the name of the package, the uh, project. Now, for example, I can come here and say my app. Then the version is whatever version your project is at. Description, you can add description if you want to. The main is talking about the starting point of our application. Which file is the starting point, the entry point into our application. In this case, the default is index.js. We have not created the file. Then under the script section, we can have commands. We can define commands that we can invoke using npm. For example, I can head over to the terminal and run this command named test. So this is the name of the command. This is what it is going to do. I can even change this. For example, let's print the Node.js version we are using. I'm going to say node-v. If I head over here and run npm run test, it is going to run whatever we specify. You can see the output here, node-v, and then the results. Then we have a bunch of other things here that we don't really need to care about now. The next thing I want to do is to install the packages we need for our project. For that, I will head over to the terminal and run the command npm install. We are going to install only one package as the dependency express. This is going to install express. We wait for that. Oh, it's already completed. If we go back to package.json, we are going to notice that express is installed as a dependency. To start making use of this express, I will go ahead and create this index.js file. I'll come over here, index.js. The first thing I want to do is to import express. So I'm going to say import express. By the way, for now, I'm going to use common JS syntax that is required instead of import. Later, we are going to change this to use the import statement. So I will say const express to be equal to require express. Express is imported. I want to grab a hold of an instance of it. So for that, I'm going to say const app to be equal to express. This is how you do it. This one is import. This one is you call the thing like as in a function call. Now we have access to express. I'm going to keep this as simple as possible for now. 
our express backend is going to have only one route to the home page for that i'm going to say app dot get that is for get request to that route to the url for example if our application is running on localhost 3000 it means that when someone visits localhost 3000 this guy should be triggered what happens when someone visits that we have a callback function this callback the argument has access to request in this callback function we have access to the request that is the incoming request information and we can also respond send out a response right for now let's keep it simple only the request response to send a response to the client to the browser for example we say res dot send there are other options but for now let's keep it at res dot send uh, something like hello from server I will save that then finally I want to start the server to do that I will say app.listen it is going to listen to invocation on the specified port port 3000 this can also take the callback for example I can come here and say console.log server up and running so this is like uh, very bare minimum stuff we need to create our express backend we import express we grab a hold on the instance of express we optionally added one route here that when the user visits we respond with this and down here we specify the port that our server is going to listen to and this console.log is optional of course now how do we start the server to do that i will go over to this package.json let's revisit this guy what we need to do is to come here and define a command that when we run that command the server is going to start for this i'm going to call it dev you can name it any other thing right then what i want to do is say node index index.js because this is the file index.js what we want to do is to use node.js to start that server let me show you on the terminal without throwing the npm command if i come here and say node index.js it is going to give us the same results when we run our npm run dev right so node server is up and running let me stop that and then i will run npm run dev it is basically going to do the same thing it is going to start the server over to the browser i'm going to visit localhost 3000 you can see we get the response from the server from our application hello from server before we go further i want to emphasize that this is it this is how simple it is to create an application with with uh, express of course this application is so minimal it does only one thing it responds with this text the string here when we visit this route but this is how simple it is the next things i want to do are not really required per se what i want to do is to configure things a little bit for example let me move the code that handles listening to server connection to a different file that is this part of the code the reason i'm doing this is um, we can use that file in the future for something like database connection etc so i'm going to call this server.js and paste it here as you've seen inside here it works but we just want to have it on a separate file it means that i will have to import app from the other file from index.js so i'm going to say app equals require index let me start the server again i'm going to say npm run run dev okay so what happened is that we have moved this code we moved this code from uh, index.js to server.js we need to go back to packet.json and change this command this file is supposed to now point to server dot js instead of index.js let me try running the 
server again uh, we get an error so I guess this error is because index.j did not export app we are trying to make use of that module that is what we have here the app over here but we did not export that so I'm going to say module uh, okay module dot export to be equal to app I will save that and let's try this one more time so our server is up and running again let me pause this let me stop this and clear the console I'll run it again and if I refresh the page we get the result like before the next thing I want to do is to change this import syntax from from the common JS the current one to ES module what that means is this for example over here instead of saying require I want to do import express from express then I'm going to remove this for the export instead of doing module.export I'm going to say export default default app then over here in server I'm going to do something similar I'm just going to say import app from index but if I try to run the server now it's not going to work let me try to run this try to run that the app crashes the reason that is happening is that by default our node is using the common JS syntax that we just removed to make use of the of the ES module we come here and add an option called type you can see the common JS is the default value the one we want to make use of is module ES module with that our syntax is going to work so let me try to run clear this console run this one more time we get okay this error is something different I'm going to show you so the moment we switch to to ES module this import breaks it is expecting us to say dot js that is the file name plus the extension it was working before with with um, common js let me start the server again and clear this you can see that that was the issue but for the purpose of this demonstration i don't want to keep adding the js for all my imports right there is a way around this but this is something that is experimental meaning that it can change or it can be removed at any time so it's not recommended for production but for this demonstration i'm going to come here and paste a command this command is going to allow me to with that option there or flag that is going to allow me to make use of this kind of import statement without being required to specify the file extension so let me start the server again you can see that the server is up and running but of course with a warning because of that flag i added that it is experimental you've probably noticed that for every change we make in the code we have to come here and stop the server and then start it again that can be something very tedious when developing for that we normally use something like nodemon which is a package that can watch the code changes and restart the server automatically to make use of nodemon i'm going to say npm install um, d that is a dev dependency something sim equivalent to install like that save dev nodemon we wait for that to install with nodemon installed i will head over to to the command for starting the server so instead of saying node server.js i'm going to restore that flag in a moment i will simply say nodemon server.js and of course this guy is optional here the flag so nodemon is going to replace node in our command then whenever there is a change in the file nodemon is going to restart the server the command to start the server again is the same we say npm run dev now nodemon is going to be watching for file changes all right so how do we test this out i will head over to browser and refresh everything is okay 
let me go to index.js and change this message to testing one two three you watch the moment the file saves nodemon restarts right let me change something else and once i lose focus my file auto saves and nodemon restarts and of course if i go to the browser now we can see the updated content all right guys i believe that our mission is accomplished we have seen how to install um, express and set up a simple backend application i hope this makes sense until next time enjoy coding